and now it's quite self-explanatory they're rocket boosters if we press E and away it goes <laughs> hi guys and welcome back to teardown you join me crashing through the front doors or failing to crash through the front doors because of the railway oh that's disappointing there we go welcome back to teardown guys i don't know what the point in that exercise was but i just wanted to try it it was just outside the front door when i loaded up the game i thought oh, i've got to smash through there let's go over to the computer now and have a look Last time we had a message from Gordon Wu. He was not very happy at all about those safes that were supposedly uh, absolutely indestructible apart from water. And we sank the lot. So <laughs> now he's going to get back at Lee. He's going to destroy the generator that's powering his entire business. And we are going to be the propagators of that destruction. So going over to Lee Chemicals, we've got the new mission here, Power Outage. And we've got eight objectives across the entire map and 60 seconds to complete all of them. And it says sabotage Lee Chemicals power supply system. Place the large bomb within the marked area by the dam turbines and detonate. Take out switchgear stations and transformers. So let's start. OK, so we appear to have something here. I'm not quite sure what this is. A, oh, a really big bomb. OK. Oh, no, hang on. A really, really big bomb. So, let's have a look at the objectives. We've got our escape vehicle here. The really, really big bomb right next to it in blue. And if we have a look here at this top stretch, can't move that box out of the way, but we've got an objective just under there. One, two, three, four, five in actual Lee's chemicals area. But now we've got the dam with what looks like a tower. The dam itself, that needs to be destroyed. And then inside here, so what I'm thinking of doing first is just having a little look around the place, seeing where everything is and seeing how we can get everything to line up. I'm going to leave the bomb here for a moment and uh, I'm sure it's going to be perfectly fine and nobody's going to do anything. So let's make our way north to the most northern objective in the map inside here. Uh, next objective is inside this building. Now, I'm not sure entirely where the objective was for this one. Here somewhere. Oh, it's on the outside of the building. So there's a very good chance we can just destroy that now. I'm just going to try shooting it with a gun first, see what happens. No. Let's have more of a look around. We've got generator here. So that's got an alarm on it. We've also got something inside this building here. That was very neat. Let's have a look. So is this on the outside of the building too? And Yeah, so we've got a second... Um, transformer. What I'm thinking is we could get away with just putting a hole in this building, dropping a bomb, uh, one of the timed explosives, on, onto this, putting another hole through here. In fact, actually, I might do this now, set this up now. Oh, I can't run away. Oh, that's... <laughs> All right, now, can we use the leaf blower on this stuff? We can. Might just put down a second bomb. Just try and clear that out a bit better. What I'm thinking is we can grab a bomb, drop a bomb onto this, run through here, use the pistol to shoot that, shoot that, and then we just need that accessible. Now that leaves that exposed for a rocket launch around. And if we had the space here, I suppose a pickup or some sort of an off-road vehicle could uh, get us back over to the little pickup truck over there. <laughs> I am not using that to drive anywhere. Not only is it slow, but we know how reliable that is at staying upright. Kind of want to blow these up just for fun, but I'm, I don't know if they're going to destroy that. I think it's far away enough to not cause too much damage. Okay, so that both of those went off, put a great big hole in the building, and not a single bit of fire. Blow all this litter out of the way if we can. So, these are... The new things that we've got to take into consideration. I'm going to have a little look around here first. I think what we've got is another one of these on the side we have. In fact, the only thing I might do with this, if the door's open, which it is, great, is just head up here. If I grab the shotgun and just blow this corner out, and now my thought process behind that is hopefully it just gives us a wider range to be able to shoot this from down here. 
So that needs to be destroyed. I think using the really, really big bomb, I'm going to drop down on the top of this. That should hopefully set the whole thing off. So our second to last objective, because I haven't forgotten about this one, is inside this building here. I'm going to use the blowtorch just to be careful. Be on the safe side. Okay. And I'm guessing, looking at it, that by shooting it with anything, it'll go off. So an RPG should definitely do the trick. I'm going to smash these windows out first. So I want to make sure that the rocket that we fire goes straight through and hits this target. So that's that column. And that's that column too. So that's nice and exposed now. So let's head back over there and just practice that for a second. Okay, so I need to find myself a place where I can see all three targets. That gives us a good line of sight of that. We'll be able to see the bomb from here and we can see the transformer there. Okay, so we can just walk straight down here. So we just need to go and fetch the bomb now. There's not too much else to set off, to be honest, after this. It's just this... <laughs> I, keep, I keep saying I'm not going to forget it and I've forgotten it, haven't I? There's a target in there. Okay, let's have a look at that first. Uh, we'll worry about the bomb in a moment. Okay, so it looks like another sort of substation. There we go. Switchgear station. Hmm... What I'm thinking is, do I make this the last target? Can an RPG... I keep calling it an RPG, it's not an RPG, it's a rocket launcher. Can a rocket be fired from this distance and accurately hit there if I was to destroy all of that portion of the building out? Would that be viable? If I stood on here, aimed over there and fired... Oh, perfect. Okay, so that roof up there, that corner, we're firing our rocket just there. And that goes straight through, right where we need it to. Bang. Uh, we've got those three targets lined up at the beginning, so let's take that bomb over and get that into position now. And we'll come back over and we'll have a quick look at setting up the vehicles over there. I'm going to roll it up these stairs. No, I think this is too heavy. Okay, so... I did notice there's a boat on the map. I'm going to go over there and grab that. Okay, so if I grab a plank. Yep, that did the trick. We can get rid of these. And there we can grab a couple more planks. Maybe one plank will do it. No, I'm going to put two down just in case. And let's pull this up here. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Yep, there we go. Very nice. And that should be good. That is right in the middle there. So I'm just going to remove a portion of this walkway to make it easier to shoot at the bomb. Might just be worth testing it. And then we can see how big the bomb is when it goes off. No, again. Well, that is a well-protected bomb. Okay, let's try the RPG. Rocket launcher. Let's try that. No, that still didn't set it off. All right, let's head back over. Maybe it's something that needs to be activated. Oh, detonate. And create another plank here. So I can detonate this, run across here. I can stand on this yellow point. But the pistol should reach there. So I can just shoot that with a gun. That'll be detonated as it is. And then it's just a case of shooting that with an RPG. So if I place it on that thin red line across there, so red line on the red line. Yep, yeah, that did it. So that's that section sorted out. I'm thinking of using two separate vehicles. Let's have a look what cars we've got on the map. So we've got the I'm not touching the crane, forget that. We've got a pickup down here, but we've got no way of getting it across to this area of the map. So I think we're just going to have to use these two. So yeah, I'm going to move this one into position first. I'm going to grab the bulldozer and it's this corner of the building that I'm going to start and destroy here just so we can drive through it and hopefully that'll be a bit quicker than running. Oh, look how satisfying that is. That's really nice. 
So that car should fit nice and easily through here. Just drive it around here. I think it might be worth leaving the second car and just running around here on foot. So maybe just destroying this. Oh, grab a valuable. Extra $60, that's good. Let's blow this up. You know what, I'm going to blow these trees up as well for the hell of it. Ah, uh, that's better. In fact, I might just grab a plank just to make that smoother. So, all we need now is just that vehicle parked next to where we're going to be standing. So... Leave that in the parking space there. I think everything's in place. We've got the car set up here. And the other one's set up here. Oh, it's a good thing, actually, that I just checked that. So let's get into position. All right, fingers crossed. Let's give it a go. Three, two, one. With a really, really big bomb. Oh, that is unnerving. That is going off very soon. Okay, cross there, shooting that, swap to the pistol, oh that has gone off, that did the job, <laughs> oh I kind of wanted to watch that but never mind, okay we're dropping a bomb on there, swapping to the gun, shooting that, please tell me that blew up, driving through here, oh that worked nicely, shooting that, uh, rocket launcher to that, Yes, it did, because we've only got one objective left, and it's just over here. And we get it level with there. Just make sure it hits. Yeah, perfect. Okay, and we've still got 20 seconds left on the clock. Oh, that was fantastic. <laughs> and we're smashing the other vehicle out of the way at the end. Okay, so that bomb going off, that gave us a nice amount of time, actually, to make our way over there to do that. But yeah, we hit those both first time, dropped the bomb onto there, which was really nice and smooth. That set that off, shot that out, and then hopping in this car. Just about made it through there nice and easily. Hit that, and thankfully I remembered to shoot that with an RPG. I was concerned I was going to forget about that one. And then I, I could have just ran off and had faith that it was going to hit, but I wanted to definitely make sure, because I had enough time to have a follow-up shot if I missed. But no, we did hit it and went through here. We still had another 18 seconds left on the clock. So that was eight objectives. And it was probably one of the quicker times, actually, that we've uh, done for the missions. That was quite nice and straightforward. Four out of four required, four out of four optional. So we've got a new rank of professional. And we've had a new tool delivered. And we have a ski master here. Let's have a look, shall we? Get ready. I'm not very good. Oh. Seven. Okay, let's let's try again. You gotta wait for them at the peak of their arc. That's the trick. Just as it starts to drop. Okay, so we did them all that time. We got the Score a 10. I don't know if we get anything for that. But there is a arrow over there for the new tool, so that's definitely a bonus. Let's use the RPG. No, missed it. <laughs> Try again. There we go. Well, let's have a look. What's this? Rocket boosters. Okay. Let's try it on this barrel here. So, pop these on the barrel. One, two, three, four. Let's try to turn the barrel the correct way up. And now it's quite self-explanatory. They're rocket boosters if we press E. And away it goes. <laughs> I've just missed the news. What a shame. Okay, let's have a look. We've got a couple of emails. One from Gillian Johnson. I recently had a meeting with Mr. Am... Am... Oh my word, all these names. Mr. Amanatoids. He's hesitating to include his propane tanks in the policy, and I think a friendly reminder on why that is a good idea could nudge him in the right direction. <laughs> and Paris has gotten back in touch with us. I know I said before that there wouldn't be any more favours, but this really is the last one. I've heard that before, though, haven't I? 
So we've got two missions for Hollow Rock. Motivational reminder, destroy Mr. Amanitoid's propane tanks for Jillian to demonstrate the true value of proper insurance. And then assortment of dishes, download communication data from three satellite dishes and at least two communication terminals. The island is protected by an armed guard helicopter that arrives shortly after hacking the first target. Oh, wonderful. I think motivational reminder sounds like the more approachable mission out of the two. So, here we are, back at Hollow Rock. And it is called Hollow Rock for a reason. If we go inside here, there is actually a large open space inside here. I don't know if there's anything particularly useful. There's some boxes of random things. But there could be, possibly, a valuable in here somewhere. Yep, there's one. Do you need an air purifier for, for fish? Okay, so that was just a doorway. Now, there, there was actually another wall here, wasn't there? Look, there's a propane tank there, and there's a, a wall here with a crack in it. Let's try that one. Okay, so that gives us one of the objectives, and it's just the outside again. Okay, let's have a look at the map. So, we need to destroy six, seven, eight propane tanks on this map, and they are spread out everywhere. All right, so that can't be moved. That needs to stay where it is. Let's have a look at the other ones in person. Then we can start to figure out what we're going to be doing on this mission. So I'm going to make my way up here. Oh, hopped over it. Oh, we'll just go up the stairs. Okay, so there's one on top of this building over here. And we're going to make our way up here. Shh, that's quite steep, but we should be able to get up it. Yep. So... That is our second objective. So I'm going to hop down here. And there's another one in this brick building here, I believe. Okay, that seems to be locked, so... No. Nope. That did a trick. So again, another propane tank that's locked in place. Being locked like that... Can the lock be destroyed? I'm going to try that. Let's drop down a quick save. Let's get our uh, blowtorch, and let's see if we can destroy this lock. Does that move now? Yeah? This actually could be quite easy. We could move all them into one area, if we're careful about it, and just blow them all up in one go and leave. It could actually be one of the possibly quickest missions to, to complete. You just got to be careful not to impact it onto anything too heavy. Okay, so it can fall over onto its side. That's not too bad. As long as we don't slam it too hard against something, we should be okay. Oh, no! Ah! Damn it! I'll be back with you again in a minute. Okay, let's drag this from a distance. Well, that's a new one. Somehow I managed to push the plank through the ground. I have to create another plank off that one. Not sure what happened there. Why is that pushing the planks through the ground? Oh, that's really strange. Okay, let's try again. So, they're definitely on the ground now. And hopefully, this propane tank doesn't push them through the floor as well. I'm going to pull this up the planks onto the back of the crane. Going up the crane arm. Oh, don't fall, don't fall, don't fall, don't fall. That's good. We're up. Okay. So, pull this along here. Does this float? If I drop this in the water, is this going to float? I mean, I'm quite curious to attach a cable to it and just throw it off and see what happens. I might just try that just for... Uh, I don't use the cables at all in this game, so let's try this. Let's attach it to a cable. And the cable stretch slightly, so let's throw it off. There. Hopefully it doesn't blow up now. That's fine. That hasn't exploded. 
Let's cut this off. Yeah, that's free now. Trying to get through all of them without moving any of them would be quite tricky to do in 60 seconds, I think. So we'll put this one here. So that's one, two. So it's not in there. It's in here, isn't it? All right. Well, that's nice and free to move now. So that's three. We've got the one on the roof up there still. Maybe we could just start up there. Save having to drag all this one outside the building. I'm thinking of dropping down a quick save, dropping a bomb in that corner of the room. And that seemed to do the trick. Another fire somewhere. No, that's gone off. Cool. Oh, I've fallen down. Let's move this one as well. I've got a feeling I've said that we're not going to move all of these. And I'm going to end up moving all of these. But it's just going to be easier, I think, in the long run. So I want to make sure that I don't drop this too hard. It's low. Yeah. That worked. Oh, damn it. Nice and steady. We don't want any large impacts on any of these. Okay. And that's in place too. That means there's four left to go. Put that out of the way. Oh, we've got a valuable here. Old TV worth $25. Ah, oh, that's bright. Our escape vehicle's over there. The propane tank's there. What if... Maybe I use the pistol. Hmm. Blowtorch? No, that nearly killed me. Maybe just using the shotgun here. And then what I can do is spray using the spray can. Sort of like a large mark on the building there. So we know roughly where we need to hit. We can just about see some of the propane tank sticking through there and should be able to hit it in one or two shots now with a pistol it's just up there we've just got to focus on these last two now so there's one in this building here on the other side well, that's pretty easy to get to that's not a problem oh and a valuable too let's have a look disc cutter 30 grab our favorite blowtorch uh, let's move this out of the way. I think we've got another flight of stairs, haven't we? No? Okay, that's fine. So, all we need to do is start up there. Or well, we could start further back, actually, if we had a direct line of sight towards that propane tank. I might actually put a hole in that building and just start down here. Yeah, we can hit it. Okay. Just going to make life a little bit easier. Drop a couple of bombs down here. That's free. And we just need to move this into position. That worked really well, actually. And just put these next to each other. And that's it. Just need to make sure we've got enough shots with the pistol. 10, 11 shots, that's that's fine. Oh no! Oh no, I clicked the wrong button! <laughs> okay, that's back into position again. That wasn't too bad. Okay, quick save. There we go. So, I'm going to grab the pistol. And this is just all about accuracy now. So, let's start off with the one in the lighthouse. 3, 2, 1. Those two, up to here, put that one up there, that's done, shoot that one for good luck, and now if we turn around we've just got these three here, one, two, 
Hold on. And escape. <laughs> Easy. Look at that. 27 minutes to set it up. 43 and a half seconds left to complete it. And we probably could have done that way quicker, to be honest. 5 out of 5 required. 3 out of 3 optional. Yeah, perfect. Laid bangs in the archipelago. Several reports of laid bangs heard across Lock Hell. Says it might have been underwater gas pockets releasing hot gases as a result of the bad weather. Not quite. So, next up, we've got that mission where I'm going to be chased around by an attack helicopter. And if you want to see that, you can click the thumbnail at the bottom left hand corner of the screen. If you've enjoyed the video and you want to see more, there's the thumbnail at the bottom right. Thank you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe if you've enjoyed today's video, and I'll see you next time. Tara.